What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Vulcanoids. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here. I felt like this title deserved a little bit more digging. So let's get back in here and we gotta make some copper ingots right now. They want me to make some plates and some bolts and some of the other goodies. I think it might also be a really good idea for us to go out and maybe grab like some more resources. Like we're able to actually leave the ship right now. Oh my god, there's more of the little Dwemer dudes down here. Is it hit scan? I wonder if it's hit scan. I feel like we have range. Like a range limit. Yeah, there it is. Got him. Shot him. Nope, don't get me right here. You ain't gonna get me. This is my land now. This is my land now, Haas. You don't know me like that. You don't know me. All right, so he had a med kit. I don't know why robots are running around with med kits, but they are. Apparently, they were probably just coming over being like, hey, you got any wounds? You okay, man? We're just your friendly neighborhood robots. We're just trying to help out. Y'all right? And then I shot them in the face with a shotgun because I don't consider my actions very well. I'm going to grab a little bit more of this while I'm out here. Some coal, maybe. I got to keep the power production going. I don't think we're going to be going back to the submarine at any time soon. I think that, like, this place over here, it's probably our new home. And as it belches smoke into the sky and damages the atmosphere, we might as well get a lot of bang for our buck, all right? If we're going to be wiping out the ecosystem with our random smog emissions, like, that is not healthy right there. That's pretty gnarly. If we're going to be, like, banging out all kinds of emissions, then we should probably at least get the most from them that we possibly can, right? Like, just make it as close to an equivalent exchange as possible. I don't see any copper around. Sort of what I was looking for, but maybe we didn't come up near any copper veins or anything. That would be kind of a bummer. Can't do anything with that big rock right there. We've got an eruption in, like, several seconds but I think it's going to be really, really inconvenient, but, like, I'm still out here risking my life trying to find random pieces of ore. Got lava on that side. Okay. A little bit of lava over there, so we'll probably stay away from that area. We did get some free medkits and some free plating, which is pretty rad from destroying the little robot guys. Let's go back inside real fast. I don't know if I need to button this place up when the eruption goes off or if I can leave the door open. The door is on the opposite side of the ship that the volcano is, so, like, maybe it'll be okay? Maybe we won't die horribly? I don't know. I'm not a master of this game yet. I'm trying real hard to be, but I'm not there yet. Let's go ahead and we'll move all the coal over. And here comes our explosion. You had to know that it was coming. That klaxon noise, dude. It's weird how human beings have been trained and, like, accustomed by our governments that when we hear that noise, like, we know something terrible is about to happen. Uh, make a few more copper ingots, please. And then we need to... Well, I'm already... Go underground? Oh, weak. Yeah, dive, 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 dive. I may have waited too long. I thought that maybe I could stay on the surface during the eruption. I think we made it. We just barely ducked it. Alright, so we gotta stay here until the eruption is over. I don't think I have a periscope. Yeah, I don't see a periscope in here. It's safe to go to the surface. Well, that's probably... Oh, I do have a periscope. Okay, let's resurface. So we will go up. Bring us on back up. Dude, I like how everything has like these manual controls on it where everything's like a hard level where you're like clunk. You know, like you gotta pull on it and you get that satisfying thud. I don't know if you've ever worked with manual machinery before, but it feels good, man. Digital machinery has kind of removed something. Like it's made things more convenient and like easier to build and whatnot. But like at the same time, like manual machinery, you get that satisfying like clunk bang and everything when you, when you fiddle with it. All right, so let's go to production over here. In production, I'm going to need to get some bolts. So there we go. We got some bolts. We're going to need some plates. So we'll get that mashed out. We need some tubes. And so there we go. It wants me to produce a equipment chest. All right. I feel like I already have those, but I'll, I'll make another one if you really, really want me to. And so I need to go into here, and then I think it should be inside of our storage now. 
Yeah, there it is. So put that inside of there, and we've produced that. Oh, we needed a storage module, not necessarily... Oh, well, the chest works too, but anyways, we've got to go to here. That's a drill ship segment. I do have the stuff. We could add another segment to our ship. That'd be kind of badass. I wonder if that, like, messes with our energy use or not. Hmm. Alright, so we've got items missing. I have no copper plates, no tubes. Alright, so copper plates, copper tubes, copper bolts. There we go. And then we go back over here. I need one chest. Oh, it's got to be in storage. That's why they made me make the chest. Gotcha. I thought they were going to make me, like, place another storage chest. And I was like, well, but why, though? But why, though? I don't understand. Alright, let's make a tier one storage real fast. Perfect. We need that over there, and then we've got our build tool, and where can I put a storage unit at? I feel like we're kind of hurting for space right now. I mean, I could make an overhead compartment. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I guess I'll put it right there. Like, we've already got a lot of the stuff that we need. Once you travel further, there's a high risk. Cogs will try to destroy your drill ship. Make sure you defend it by building a turret module. Once the turret module is deployed, it automatically shoots at enemy units. Make sure there is turret ammo inside the online cargo. Okay. So sulfur is a rare material. It can always be found close to lava. Well, we know where lava's at. So let's go check it out. We've got like a big old lava. It's hot. If you've never been near lava before... I don't think, like, most human beings that have never been near a volcano before understand how hot a volcano is. Like, from right here, with a lava field that close, you would already feel, like, overwhelming heat, like, hitting you in the face. It's crazy how hot it is. It's one of the most insane feelings I've ever experienced. And, like, the closer you get, the worse it is. Like, if the lava river is, like, right there from where you are... It's, like, so hot that you can, like, feel your skin baking almost. Like, it's like, oh, my God. It's like you're getting hit in the face with a mallet made of fire. It's really, really, really hot. But it's, like, it's strange because, like, you don't feel yourself burning like you would if you touched a stove or anything else like that. It's just, like, so hot that, like, instinctively you just want to get away from it. So, yeah. Unless we've got some kind of protective suit on. Being this close to a lava pool like this in real life, that's a bad plan. In addition, you probably shouldn't go near lava fields like this because there's a good chance that there's lava tubes concealed underneath the ground. That's how these erupt is they're connected to the main volcano by tubes that run underneath the ground and erupt outwards based on pressure. And it's just, it's a bad plan. They collapse all the time, and you don't want to fall into a lava tube. Although, the good news is, if you do fall into a lava tube, the heat differential between you and the lava is so great that you will actually have time to be pulled out. Like, the, the massive disparity between the two temperatures. I don't know if I hit him or not. But I've got the distinct feeling that I'm range limited right there. we go. Yeah, sit his ass down. Uh, I think I got him. There was another one over here somewhere, though, too. There he is. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, sit him down real fast. There's two more over there. Let's loot these. Because we this will save us production time if we're lucky. Oh, we found a coal power plant. Damn, dude, that's an entire power plant we just found on that guy. Hell, yeah. All right, let's get this scrap metal real fast. I don't know what the scrap metal is used for, but I assume we can melt it down. And maybe make it into just, like, raw copper, possibly. Oh, my inventory's full. If I wanted to use a med kit, how does that work? Why does it look like I'm eating the med kit? Apparently, that's how healing works in this universe. You gotta eat the med kit. It's the only way to purify oneself against the plague of the outdoors. Was there any more ore over here? I'm going to sweep around a little bit more. Yeah, there's copper right there. We're going to need that. We're getting a little bit lowsies on copper. I think I'm probably also going to need a little bit more ammo pretty soon. We've only got a couple of shells left. All right, so we got that. That is a free periscope. I wonder if I can recycle... I believe that I'm being shot at. 
I don't have a lot of bullets left. I'm starting to become nervous about my bullet supply. Used in the refinery to obtain a copper ingot. Yeah, so we can also use that, I guess. So we'll probably dump that inside of our inventory as well. We've got a small banner that displays our logo. Okay. Let's go drop this stuff off back at base, and then we'll come back and pick up some of these extra little bits and pieces that we've got laying around. So we've got the sulfur. We've got to put materials online. Yeah, I'll do that in just a minute. We'll throw that all in there. But I want to make sure that while I'm out and about, and we've actually found, like, a good resource cache, that I'm bringing it all with me. Let's head back to base. All right, so here from the base, the things that we can accomplish at the moment, I need to go to storage first and foremost, and, like, all of this stuff needs to go into storage so that later on we don't really have to stress about what we have and we don't have. I have a periscope right there. I'm going to put it in storage because I can't really think of what I need a periscope for right now anyways. We have a minus four balance at the moment. Why do we have a minus four balance? Is the power plant offline? Oh, it looks like it kicks in to save energy. Yeah, I think it only throws coal in when you need it. Gotcha. Okay. What's the difference between this? I think this is like individual item storage, whereas that's like production item storage. Either way, we need to go to the refinery menu. We need to make sulfur dust. So there we go. And then we need a bunch of ingots. I'm actually going to queue these up. Just make me like 20 of these. I don't want to worry about ingots for a while. I've got plenty of resources. I'm not stressed about our situation right now. I don't think that there's going to be too much more that we should panic about. And so we need to go to our production menu. And I don't see the turret around. I don't know exactly where the turret goes. We've got tools maybe. Oh, I need bullets though. I did need bullets pretty bad, so maybe I'll do that. So there's the turret ammo right there. We've got slugs. Let me produce the rest of the sulfur too. I doubt that I have enough for that. I think I only picked up like seven or eight. How much sulfur do I have? Oh, I actually have a bunch of sulfur. Okay. Yeah, just repeatedly make that until it's done. And then over here, we'll make the turret ammo for the tutorial. So we've got 100 bullets right there. And I need copper bolts for those. All right, so produce... Like, I don't know, like 20 copper bolts real fast because I'm going to make myself a whole bunch more shotgun slugs so that I can defend myself when I'm out in the open. I think I should also add a drill ship segment, in all honesty. I don't know where I put that, but I would like to have it. Like, I don't know if that goes in the core. Yeah, make one. Go ahead. I give you my blessing. Make me an extra drill ship segment, because what I'd like, what I'd really like to do is I'd like to keep this area clean like I want nothing inside this segment except for the like the map the drive areas maybe a little bit of storage and then I want all the refineries and all the production stuff in the car that's behind us all right so it's done means I can hop into storage we can grab that guy right there from the symbol on it I'm pretty sure that this goes in the core or something I've made my shotgun shells so we're good on that front I got, like, plenty of them. I don't need to carry around that many, but it's nice to have some extra slugs just in case. Just in case I got a buck a bitch. I'm still a little bit confused about where I put the extra segment, but maybe we're not at that part of the game yet, and it just, like, flat out won't let me. Like, maybe I've got to have, you know, some other piece of the puzzle in order to make that work. So it wants me to make a turret module. All right, turret module is this little guy right here. So what do I need? I need copper plates and a copper tube. Oh, I turned production off. That's what it is. Station on. There we go. Done. Let's do it. I can make this. See, I flipped the power switch without realizing it, and so now I'm being faced off with my sins. All right, so we have the turret right there. We can put the build tool, and we can look at a drill ship sidewall. And place it where we want to place it, I guess. We actually don't have a lot of space left. I can't put it on the ceiling. Let's see. It can be installed 
only underground. Okay, that's fine. I need, I actually officially need a new drill ship segment right now. Let's go under. I love how the little ship like unfolds and everything's got kind of like a Transformers feeling to it. It's planned out really, really well and it makes the game super enjoyable. Like it's not like it just magically like pops into its configuration when you come up and out. You can actually see all the pieces unfolding around each other and unsnapping and moving around. All right, so we're down here. Turret control is gonna have to wait for a minute. This is where our core slots go. So I'm gonna add the extender right there. Turret module is not important at the moment, so we've got two drill ship segments, which is great. Let's take this back up to the surface and we'll kind of have a look and see what things look like. So we've got a lava source over there. Hey, there we are. Where's our second little segment? I want to see it. Yeah, there it is. We've got like a little, little booty butt tube. Nice. Hell yeah. That's absolutely what I'm talking about right there. So can I install stuff on these walls right here? I can't. Okay, so in our second little area, I think what I'd like to do is like if I can... So we've got our refinery... I would like for my refinery to be like there. I'm gonna move some stuff around. You gotta give me a second. I'm gonna move some things. I would like to deconstruct that module and deconstruct that module. Storage is fine. I'm okay with having storage out here. Like storage is good in the front room. I can live with that. I just wanted it to look a little bit more clean and neat in here. All right, so let's take this back on over here and we will have production. Refinery, turret. That looks way cleaner. I like it a lot better than having this entire area just like crammed with bullshit that we can't get out of the way. If I could put in a window right there, that'd be cool. How hard is it for me to make a window segment? So if we've got a structure, we've got a copper floor, we've got copper holes, we've got a copper window. Yeah, make that. That sounds cool. I might need that in my inventory, though, in order to do it. There's the window. No item available. Maybe it goes on the ceiling? How come my windows aren't working? I've got the window thing, but, like, maybe it's part of another thing? Let's go back and look. Oh, the captain wants to talk to you. All right, prepare for the attack. Before we can start the attack at the first lava source, we have to produce equipment to stand a chance against enemy defenses. Uh, let's go ahead and make five grenades, two med kits, and some shotgun slugs. I kind of feel like the game does a really good job of... So oh, well, it's a wall hole that I needed to make. Okay. What did I need for the wall hole? Plates and tubes. Yep, just bang those out real fast. I do wish that you could have more than one thing queued up, and it would hit them all, like, iteratively. Items are missing. What do I need? Copper ingots? Ass! Uh, refinery module... Finery module. I need help. Yeah, make those forever. I don't know how many we have, but make those last forever. I mean, the nice thing is if we do get attacked, I can pretty easily just dive below the surface and not have to stress about it. Does, it, does the ammo need to go in storage? Like, I wonder if that auto pulls from storage. In my opinion, a fairly valid question. Put production right there, refineries over there. All right, so no materials for that. We gotta find some more. We've got another eruption coming too. As much as I would love to make more drill ship segments and just keep this thing going, just extending towards the sky. Let's make the grenades that it wanted. And then I think it wanted, like, one shotgun slug or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we gotta go down, though. We got one minute till the eruption. Okay. The eruption is over, I think. So we should be reasonably safe to go back up to the surface. Like, I'm gonna wait for the all-clear from the, from the captain, but... Definitely... Kinda scary. This place seems to have some serious volcanism going on. It needs help. So I gotta go back out and gather some resources. I don't know 
where there might be more resources at. But it seems like it's a reasonably decent time for... I love the way the little pieces flex and everything, too. And if you look, they're riveted in such a way where these pieces right here actually, like, rotate on each other. It's kind of cool the way the game was, like, thought out with the theory of how everything functions. Like, as an inquisitive gamer who likes to, like, look at all the things and be like, that don't make no sense. And is not very good at, like, suspending my expectations. Like, I like the fact that they went through and they made, like, the things flex that would need to flex in real life. And, like, they've made it in such a way with the textures that it makes sense that it flexes. I like it. I like it. This area is looking a tad more devastated than it was before. I do wish that you could break down the cities and whatnot. Like, you could actually, like, break down the houses and, like, some of the parts over here in order to get it started. It would make sense to me that, like, excavation teams would do that in order to prepare. And then you start building around the coast first for safety purposes, just in case you need to evacuate. more robots over here want some yeah I got a mess for you guys I got a mess for you guys I ain't afraid ship core stats I kind of wish I wonder if there's a way to like go through and break down some of this stuff and like recycle it that's what I'm curious about let's grab some more scrap metal while we're over here we got tubes and pipes I mean I don't actually need that like, we already have one of those on display in our base, so why stress about it? Ah, my inventory's full again. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna trash the window thing that I built, because I don't think that's gonna be helpful. Those don't stack, unfortunately. What the hell is that noise? Why do I hear a diesel engine? Are there other drill ships? Uh oh. Hold up, we gotta investigate this. We've got like an enemy drill ship up here. I mean, I don't know that it's an enemy, but I'm gonna treat it like an enemy because I don't know and I'm scared. Oh, it's an attack force. Oh yeah. Like, it's a straight battle force over here coming after us. I got no ammo left. Can I hit him with my pickaxe? I can. Okay, so we've got other options. It's not that bad. There we go. Take his ass out. I'm going to go ahead and heal up real fast because we're a little bit busted right now. Alright, so have we captured their drill ship right here? Looks like it to me. Is it possible to, like, break it down? Oh, wow, they got a bunch of stuff in their storage. Unless that's my stuff in storage. But I don't think that I had production stations or anything in there, so... I'm kind of of the opinion that I'm jacking their stuff right now. That's okay because I need it. So it just like automated go- I guess it makes sense. I mean if these guys are robots, right? These guys are robots. They're obviously automated. So like how hard would it be for them to automate their drill ship as well? I was about to question it, but like eh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Vulcanoids. I'm having a blast with this one, man. It's a really cool game. You guys should definitely check it out down below. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in and hi do.